Right. Uh, now we're going to do question number three from the same paper, 2022. So this question is about um, hydrogen peroxide, the half equation. This is your half equation. Hair bleach contains hydrogen peroxide. Um, a sample hair bleach solution diluted with water concentrated hydrogen peroxide diluted solution is 5% of the ice in a region solution. A 25 centimeter sample of the dilute hair bleach solution is acidified with dilute sulfuric acid. The acidified sample is titrated with 0 0.02 moles of potassium manganate solution. The reaction completed. Uh, the reaction is complete when 35.85 centimeters of potassium manganate solution as added. The first thing you've got to do is give an ion equation for a reaction between potassium manganate and acidified potassium hydrogen peroxide. So that's the first thing. So if you look at this question here, so you've got a half equation, which is this one here. You need to know the other half equation for magnesium uh, reaction between mag potassium manganate 7 solution. Okay, so you got that, goes to that. So you need to know how to balance. You have to form that equation. So if you start with that, and you and arrow to MN2, then you balance half equation here. So you've got uh, four oxygens, so you put four water. So you've got eight ox hydrogens, well, eight H plus, and then you have two plus charge here, and this is eight plus minus 127 plus, seven minus, so you add five electrons. So adding those two together gives you that, and then you cancel anything in common, so you take 10 H out of 16, and you end up with 5 H2O plus 2 MnO4 minus plus 6 H plus goes to 2 O2 plus 22 MnN2 plus plus 8 H2O, okay? Right, so the next thing you're going to do is because the ratio is five, so it, calcul it says you calculate the concentration of the M cube, cube of hydrogen peroxide in original hair solution. So because the ratio is five to two, because you have to balance that, so you have five hydrogen peroxide to two manganate. Okay, moles of hydrogen peroxide is 7.17 times 10 minus 4 uh, divided by 2 times 5 gives you that. Okay, so if you got the moles, you started here, so I missed that. You calculate the moles of MnO4, which is 0 0.02 times 35.85. So concentration times volume divided by 1,000 gives you moles of MnO4 minus. Then you do the ratio, which is 2 to 5, and it gives you moles of peroxide there. Then you have um, the moles of peroxide divided by... Um, 25, okay, which is your volume, uh, and you multiply this by 10 minus 2 because it's dividing by 1,000, okay, that'll give you concentration which is 0 0.0717 mole PM cube of, this is 5% original solution, okay, so you've got the concentration of the 5%, so therefore 0 0.0717 times 20 is equal is 1.43. Uh, mole PM cube. Okay, so four, if twenty times five makes hundred, so that's how you calculate that. Let's make sure that you can see the whole lot there. So the question three point two says state why indicator is not added to the titration because K M N O four is a self indicator because you got color. Uh, give the oxidation state of oxygen in ox hydrogen peroxide. Is going to be minus one, right? Hydrogen peroxide decomposed for water than hydrogen and oxygen. Given the equation of this reaction, so you got hydrogen peroxide, water, and oxygen. Then you balance it with this equation. Calculate the amount of moles of hydrogen peroxide that would be needed to produce 185 centimeter cube of gas at 100 kPa and 298. So we start with PV and RT because that's what it needs. So you got the pressure. You got the volume, so you have also got to find out the amount of moles of hydrogen peroxide, okay? And you got R there, so you got moles, you got 100 because they give you 100 there. You got to change there for 100 pa, you want to have about a thousand, and your volume you have to make change into centimeters to meter cube. 
So you multiply by 10 to minus 6 or divide by 1,000 and then divide by 1,000 again. So you divide by a million. Then it gives you moles of oxygen, okay, which is, gives you that one. So you place all this in, in this, in this um, equation. So rearrange the fine moles, which is PV divided by RT. You place the figures in there. Then it gives you the moles of O2. So this is the moles of O2. It gives you 7.47 times 10 minus 3 moles. So moles of hydrogen peroxide should be two twice as much because you've got oxygen here. The ratio is 1 to 2. So moles of peroxide is going to be 0 0.0149 moles. Make sure you get the whole thing. So the last question, part 3.5 is hydrogen N2H4 is used to rocket fuel that is oxidized by hydrogen peroxide. The equation for this reaction is gas phase. So this is your equation. So the density change of the reaction is set minus 789 kilojoules per mole. So I give you the mean bond enthalpy here. So define the um, mean bond enthalpy. Use the equation and data to calculate the value for O2. So there's two things you need to answer to give you five marks. First thing you need to know definition, so you can look at this in a book, uh, which is definition entropy change to break one mole of bonds, one mole of bonds in gaseous state, average over a range of compounds. Okay, so you need to just check on your book if you got that sort of uh, definition. But that's what it says in the mark scheme. Then how do you calculate the um, um, mean bond enthalpy? Calculated the equation, calculated the value of O bond enthalpy of hydrogen peroxide. Um, value for O O bond enthalpy in hydrogen peroxide. So you start by placing that equation as delta H bond enthalpy equals the sum of delta H bonds broken minus sum of delta H bonds formed. So that will always help you if you set up like that. Then you know bonds broken is going to be the the reactant and bonds form is going to be the product. So you got minus 789. I'm sorry, I got that thing in here, so that shouldn't be there. That's fine. Equals to 4 times 388 because it's 4 times NH. So if you look at here, that's 388 is 4 NH is in there. Okay. Plus 4 times 463. Okay. Which is 463 is going to be OH. And I've forgotten something here, which I should have put it on. Um, and then you got plus two times OO, which is the one you need to find out. But you also have the, um, the NN, which is 163, which I've forgotten to put in there, but I did calculate it right. So plus uh, 163 there. Okay, all that equals in reactants minus, because you got one, two, 1AOH, 2OH times 4 makes 8. So it'll be for 8 times OHs. Okay? So the grand total is you, re you replace those values by here. Then you rearrange to find 2O2O2, which gives you 292. Okay? And then at the end, you divide this by 2 because you want to know what is the, bond, the mean bond, to, the average bond entropy of OO which gives you 146. So that's the answer, 146 kilojoules per mole minus one. Okay? I hope you understood that. Thanks.